Freeway Rick. We got another Rick on here. What's up, man? We got the NBA logo. Let's go. We got the Heat playing tomorrow. Again, we're going to start our championship uh, run. So I'm going to get pretty excited. I think about wearing a Heat jersey, but I chose to flip the Rick shirt today. Got my Dolphins hat, though. So I have to work on my mindset and motivation. All right, Rick. Um, again, mindset is very important. But again, I'm going to be going to be real with you right now. Motivation can only last you so much. Like you can watch a Gary Vee video and get pumped up for like 30 minutes, and then it sort of like wears off. You go to a Tony Robbins event, get you pumped up. Again, it'll get you pumped up for like maybe three days, and then you kind of slowly fade off to that. Motivation's got to be. It can't be going on a video and getting pumped up on that. I mean, I could put eye on the tiger right now and just get even more pumped up. Uh, I, again, there's like I'm I, I'm pumped up just talking, helping you guys out, like talking to Carl and giving them a game plan just to help them out. That pumps me up. But again, think about what what you're doing motivation for. Like I'm 20 years old, single dude. Um, I get. I'm more motivated than most other wholesalers in my market. And I got, I got people in my market that's got like four kids and they need to feed the family and they're married and they got to provide for them. And I'm, I'm telling you right now, I'm 10 times more motivated than them. There's just, there's some motivations that are just so deep down inside of me that just lights a fire. And it, it it's weird, but like it motivates me more than, these people with kids and that's just because i have a mindset perspective about things just attack action 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 and uh, again i can tell you some things that motivate me um, you really got to do an analysis on yourself and really an audit and just see what's going to motivate you so for example for me again everyone's heard my story 17 years old scrubbing toilets at Publix. um you guys before know what that is and I just basically told myself, I'm never going to do this again. Like, this is just demoralizing for seven bucks an hour. And it's just like, I'm not living my life like this. Working 40 hours a week, 17, bag boy. I, it's just, I got treated like the gutter. Like, treat your bag boys right, guys. Like, especially this coronavirus. Like, come on, you can't pay me to do that for seven bucks an hour. But, guys, that put a massive chip on my shoulder. Not going to lie. Now, should it? I have no idea. But like every time I feel like not motivated or something like that, I just think like, do you really want to go back to Publix and just like scrub toilets and just be called names and stuff from your manager? It's like you're not worth anything. Hey, Zach, you got a 25 cent raise today. Oh, wow. 25 cents this year. Wow. Uh, again, I, I got massive chips on my shoulder and I'm here to prove everyone wrong at that Publix store. And uh, it only took me – it only took me three months to make more than the highest um, paid employee in Publix, which is the store manager. Um, he makes $100,000 a year, and again, he pays a lot of taxes. So I made more than him when I was 17 in high school um, wholesaling real estate. So um, again, I'm more hungry than ever. Uh, so yeah, I mean, the sky's the limit for me. But it, there's so much like chip on my shoulder doing that. I've had I've had people at Publix tell me that like I'm never going to mount anything. Like I. I'm just going to be in this job forever. So again, I that what motivates me. You got to do an audit for yourself, Rick. Like, what's going to motivate you, man? Like, what, what, why are you doing this? Think about why you're actually doing this business. Why are you doing it? Think about it. Do you have a chip on your shoulder? Are you here to prove someone wrong? Are you here to prove it for yourself? Are you here to actually make money? Think about it for a second. And to really work with yourself on mindset and motivation, again, a Gary Vee video can really give you so far. Uh, I mean, you can pop up some uh, real estate gurus to pump you up for a bit. But, like, again, it, it's, it's when that motivation fades and the, the true you actually shines and it shows, like, what, what are you made of? Are you going to dig deep for motivation or not? Uh, again, I can think about this a lot when I used to cold call for, like, hours and hours at a time. I got some Gary Vee video going. Like I was pumped up for an hour. Hour two hits, hour three hits, and it's like, ugh, the Gary Vee videos ain't working anymore. And then you think about the time when you're just making, like you were dead broke. Like with me, dead broke, scrubbing toilets. Like, like I think about that. I'm like, oh, dude. like you don't know me, man. You don't know me. Like I can go hours and hours and hours just working. Like I, I just, it's just like the fire inside of me. Um, I think a guy that's going to get you pumped up, it'll last an hour, but 
if you can use his tactics, he can help you a lot is uh, David Goggins. Uh, again, um, I can listen to motivational music while running. Uh, sometimes I do like a five, seven, eight, ten mile run. Um, there's some there's some stuff that chips on your shoulder with running and stuff. Uh, listen to David Goggins. That dude, David Goggins, will push you to the limit. Again, when he runs, he's got chips on his shoulder like crazy, and that's what motivates him. Because you can listen to music get pumped up for a little bit, but like mile six, seven creeps around. There's something deep inside of you that you got to get some mental strength and just push. And uh, that's something. Just think about think about your why. It's really important. But for mindset, uh, a cool one is a tough mindset you can think of. So a mindset you can think of a, a cold calling that can help you a lot here is think about this. The average deal for a wholesaler is around five to ten grand. Let's say ten grand. Now let's get all snazzy. And let's say it's going to take you four thousand calls, conservatively. Like that's that's pretty bad, but 3,000 calls, let's see there. So if you make 3,000 calls, you get paid, no, 3,000. Yeah, 3,000 calls. So if you make 10 grand to do 3,000 calls, uh, you're making $3.33 per call. So if you think about that for a second, if you can make 60 calls an hour, that means with like a Zen call or Mojo dialer, in like 200 bucks an hour. Uh, so that's a cool part about mindset with cold calling that I always think about like, oh man, I just made three bucks. Hey, are you interested, are you interested in cash off your property? No, three bucks, three bucks, three bucks. Are you interested in your property? No, three bucks, three bucks, three bucks, three bucks. Think about it like that. Um, that's a cool mindset shift. Um, another one too is you can think about other real estate investors. Like I got my first deal within my first like four weeks in a month and I cashed that out in like what? It's like seven or eight weeks. So I got lucky. Like I got my first couple of deals relatively early. Um, there's some people that have it. They didn't even get their, they didn't get their first real estate deal until like month six, seven, eight. And there's people that didn't get a deal for like a year, two years. And uh, they finally did it. And they got traction on that. So that's another thing on mindset. But um, hope you guys enjoyed a uh, Zach patented rant there on uh, mindset and motivation. Uh, but think about it for a second, man. Think, think of your why. You have to think about your why. Why, like, why are you doing this? And the answer should surprise you pretty well. Again, I mean, it's I, I hate to say it's like a cheap why, but like, if you have a kid, like, dude, you got to provide for that kid. Like, like I, I got no kids, but I know there's people watching this that have kids. Like, think about this. I have a son. I have daughters. Like, I like I don't, but like, you think about it, like they're in the third person here. Like, I got this. What are you going to do with that? Like, what do you want that kid to look at you as? Do you want him to think about you like, yeah, he cold called for three hours, but three and a half, I mean, their baby, like, he quit. Do you want your kid to, like, know that you're a quitter? Like, do you want them to know that? Do you? No. Do you want them to know that you, like, in a biz business venture, it's okay to fail. Like, I, you could fail in plenty of business ventures, but do they know that you fail, like, you're, if you fail in a business venture, you're not failing. Trust me, you're not a failure. If you feel in wholesaling after five years, you're not a failure. But if you just quit, that's the thing, that that's a character trait. Like failing in something is, I mean, I, I think every real estate wholesaler investor has, uh, unless they're lying to you. Uh, I, mean, I mean, they failed before. But someone quitting, that's something different. I mean, it, it's a complete game changer. Just think about your kids and just think what – what you want to do with – like what do they want to think you as and do you want to provide for them? And again, if you got a job, that's the easiest chip on the shoulder in my opinion because you, you want to get out of that. I mean the freedom with this is so much. you got kids. Think about it. You're working a job now. you got kids. Like dude, real estate investing will give you so much freedom. I mean it blows, blows the door off there. And again, if you if you got if you got a mom or a dad, think about that. Like when do you want to retire them? How awesome would it feel if you could retire them? Again, I can't retire Greg because Rick, Rick's uh, he's got a pretty good business. But uh, just think about that. Like retire grandparents. Like if, if you're my age, like what you, what, how cool it is to like like buy your grand, grandma or grandpa a house. That'd be pretty cool. Um, that's another chip on your shoulder. Just uh, think about that mindset. But um, we're getting a lot of questions here. So um, a lot more people coming on here. Maybe I had a really good thumbnail to this week. But um, yeah, guys. So uh, hope that helped Rick. 
Uh, let me know again. Uh, let me know. Make sure you're a Heat fan. You watch the Heat tomorrow. But um, 